All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. For today's video, I want to go over how to display a help text in a Visual Force page. Uh, before we jump into that, uh, I just do, I want to quickly go over some of the starter code that I've written real quick. So starting with the help text view, which is a Visual Force page, you can see here we have our controller defined as well as I'm just saying it to, to use the lightning style sheets. I have some default CSS that just um, formats the the output fields uh, inside of our page block we have a form I have some page blocks so the first one just says visual force help text tutorial and then inside of this page block section we have two output fields the first one just outputs an account's name and the second one outputs the ticker symbol uh, jumping into our help text controller very quickly it's pretty simple uh, I just created a public account um, object with the getter and setter and then inside of the constructor are, I am um, hard coding or rather doing a SQL query that gets an ID, uh, that gets an account by a hard coded ID in this case I'm just pulling um, some random account I have in my org it is called the Burlington Textiles Corp of America so with that out of the way uh, like I said I wanted to quickly go over how to display help text in a visual force page and uh, I don't know about you guys, but this has been a pain point of mine for quite some time. A Visual Force does provide some built-in methods, or sorry, rather built-in ways of displaying a help text uh, for a field, but they don't always work. Uh, it seems like there's some arbitrary rules surrounding it. For example, if we have an output field in, in, a, in a page block section item, uh, we should be able to use the help text um, tag of the play page block section to to display um, a help text, but that doesn't always work. And uh, and I don't really feel like going into the the criteria to make them work. Um, I believe that you can only use them when it's an output field, um, but you can't have an output label and other other little minute details like that. So instead of relying on something that doesn't seem to be reliable. Uh, I figured that we can use some custom CSS and some tags to make it work. So, uh, and before I go ahead and, sh and show you that, I, I do, do just want to show you the, what this looks like, what we currently have. So if we jump into the preview, you can see here, it's just a very simple visual force page. Um, on the left hand side, we have the name and then the right hand side is just the value of that. So same thing with the ticker symbol. That's the ticker symbol of this imaginary account. But anyways, so to make this work, all we need to do is, and I've already kind of done a little bit of it, but uh, we have to, instead of a page block section for which we want the output field to have a help text icon, we can wrap our output label in an output panel. And inside of that, I am going to create an image tag. So IMG, we are going to set the source to be just the default um, the default help text icon that Salesforce has, in which case I know that it is just forward slash s dot gif. I'm going to give it a class of img class, and I, I want to say most um, images that are created, uh, most images in Visual Force already have this img class um, in the HTML element, and all we want to do is we kind of want to hijack it and, and overwrite some of the values and I'll show that in a little bit. But anyways, so let's give it a title right here. And the title is going to be our help text uh, to grab the help text from, from a, a field. So in this case, I want to get the help text of ticker symbol that's on the account record. We have to use this following syntax. So it's going to be the object type, and then we have to specify which object we're talking about. So in this case, it's the account. We're going to grab the fields, and then after fields, we have to just specify the API, API name of the, of the field that we want. In this case, it is ticker symbol. And we are going to grab the inline help text. With that, we can now move on to the CSS so that we can properly display the help text. So uh, let me indent a little bit. And in here, like I said, we want to hijack the IMG class. 
that is already um, that we've specified here in our image. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we want to specify for the IMG class image class the background image and I'm going to grab a, a default image that Salesforce already has it's called help help orbs and that's basically just a little orange circular icon that Salesforce pr uh, provides so we're going to grab the background image and then we are going to say the background repeat so whether it should repeat if if there's enough space uh, that should be set to no repeat and then i'm going to give it a width of 15 pixels and a height of 13 pixels and, and this size is kind of just arbitrary something that i've kind of messed around with by just looking at the inspect inspect tool in google chrome so with that let me uh, space it out a little bit so once we have our image class css defined i also want to specify the hover so in this case basically when you hover over that little help text uh, icon um, something should happen so in this case uh, I'll go ahead and just kind of copy what we already have here. That way we don't have to rewrite it. In this case, this stays the same. We don't want it to repeat. The width and height can be the same. But then I want the, the background position. To be... Uh, set to the right and um, oh and before I refresh this I just realized I made a mistake here uh, I forgot to specify it that it's a URL um, so let's go ahead and do that right here and with that done let's go ahead and save it and if we jump into our preview we now see that there's this little icon that appears here and if we hover over it you can see that the company stock ticker symbol appears, uh, which if we go into our uh, our thing, and I, I am currently in classic right now for some reason, but if we go into our ticker symbol field, uh, we can see here that the help text is set to company stock ticker symbol, which matches up with this right here. Uh, so like I said, just a very quick tutorial, um, something that I found kind of useful once uh, I've once I found this. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, feel free to leave any comments in the comment section down below. Um, consider subscribing if you guys found this useful and I'll see you guys in the next one.